I've been making art since I was younger than Juniper. I mean, I just remember always creating things that was in my blood and I have taken many, I took art lessons when I was young and I went to college for um, art education and I ha also have a painting major. And then I went to Europe and studied um, painting for a year after I um, got, after I graduated college. My grandmother quilted and um, my mother does as and well as, daughter. and my daughter is learning how to quilt. I belong to a couple quilt, quilt clubs in the area and um, I was in a sewing 4-H as a young child so I've been, I was always making clothes for myself or for my dolls. side of the barn I have two peacocks that I've raised um, I hatched them as eggs so uh, they're they've been special to me and I think I've had them for around eight or nine years but they inspired my barn quilt we just painted this in my home um, during the summertime when I was off from school a little bit out of time it took me quite a few probably quite a few weeks to a month or so to paint it initially I was gonna hang it on point and then as it kind of developed I decided that I really liked it to be hanging um, in the straight format and the colors being uh, really in the cooler tones to match with the peacocks. I like the barn quilt trail because it, it does bring a lot of people into our community. I like um, that it's bringing some culture and art, art into our area, which I think is lacking a lot. and. Um, I just really enjoy quilts and the whole history and of, of the quilting. My husband and I bought this farm, his name is Tom, in 1976 while we were living in California. We had come to look at places and this just happened to be a hog farm at the time and we decided we wanted some property. We lived right in town in California when, in a big city and we decided to go all natural. <laughs> so we bought the farm in 1976 and we moved here in 1979. And we've lived here ever since and raised horses and we did dairy for a little while and then we are now raising uh, grass-fed beef. When we moved here, the barn was pretty ramshackled. It was just a single barn with a corn shed and we completely redid the outside of it, put a new roof on it and uh, whitewashed it in here. That was many years ago. And we built uh, two barns since then. I've always admired quilters. I do sew, but I don't do quilting. And I always thought that quilters really had this great thing going. And when I saw the barn quilts, I thought, well, that's really neat. I did actually see a barn that had barn quilts that were hanging on the wash painted on it. And I thought, that's really a terrific idea. I'm not that energetic, so they can stay there, but I thought that the barn quilts that were popping up all over the place were so unique and I really enjoyed seeing them and when I spot them I get so excited. Kathy had advertised with Carl a uh, barn quilt uh, introduction on how to make them and I decided to go to it and I really wanted a barn quilt for our farm. Um, I went through dozens of designs. It was very, very hard because there were so many and I just decided on this, I believe it's called a pin, pinwheel star. Uh, first, there's another one in Kansas and that's how I decided to go ahead and go with that. And I had another piece of MDO board left over and because we had dogs and people would drive in the driveway to look at this one and the dogs would go nuts, I decided to put another one on our cow barn. So 
people could see it as well. A lot of people actually come in um, and the dogs let me know when they're here and I go out and they ask if they can take pictures and they're certainly welcome and they ask the history of it and how hard it was to do it and they uh, tell me that they travel all over looking at them so it's a pretty popular thing you know.